Good morning. Ow. It's a huge problem. Good morning. Um, it's very early. We got everything packed. We already packed everything yesterday, actually. Just have to do a few more little things. I got my very important document right here, my passport. And uh, we are going to drive to Schiphol, the international airport in Amsterdam. And from there, we will fly to the city of Detroit. The drive from my house to Schiphol is about two and a half hours. So it's a two and a half hour drive. We already checked in online and stuff like that. So everything is good. Got our documents, got everything. And then we are going to be on a very long flight. It's gonna be miserable. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's all worth it in the end. So we're gonna go to the United States of America today. Pretty crazy. It's really hot. Ah, our last cup of coffee. Oh, you're already recording? Yeah. Coffee. <laughs> Our last cup of coffee in the Europe. Netherlands. And Europe, yeah. Today we get on a plane. Ah, yeah. To the United States of America. Back to your home country. Nice. Leaving your home country. Leaving mine. Yeah, we're going from the Western Front all the way to the United States of America. And we will actually go to the allied country. Usually it's like nine hours, right, this flight? Yeah. Ugh, miserable. Can you imagine doing this back in the day? during World War II, how long that would take. Like with all these boats to go from the United States all the way to England and then bleh, so much work. Anyways. I should think it would be cool to do like a cruise. Yeah, but we're, I wasn't talking about a cruise really. But yeah, you're right. That well, I know cool. that, I'm just saying. Oh! It's all the same distance. I just burned my mouth. 4 or 6 p.m. we will arrive in Detroit. Then your sister will pick us up and then from there we will go to Indiana. Three hour drive. Three hour drive. Oh, basically a three hour drive to the airport today. Yep, and then another one. Then we have a nine hour flight. Yep. Then we have another three hour drive. Just so you know. You cannot go to America without ordering McDonald's first. You need to blend in. These are food. I'm excited for the nuggets. We went down the wrong way, so we need to go back up the escalator. We're going past McDonald's again. We actually were at the right floor, so we went down, up, and then down again. But here we are, and we're going to our gate right now with our luggage. E7. There it is, on the left, D7. Yep, there it is. Okay, D7. That's our plane. Do, 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 do. We're in the plane. Let's buckle up. Whoa. Here we go. Free stuff. Free stuff. <laughs> Free headphones. Free stuff. It's really hot on this plane. Why can't we just be in the air already? Like, why do we have to stand here so long? And then we're gonna get this instruction video on the on the monitor here, right? Yeah. Stow all carry-on items in an overhead bin and place smaller items completely under the seat in front of you. Larger electronic devices must be placed in a bag. Handheld portable electronic devices including mobile phones should also be secured. Uh, it's gonna take a while. If I do I smell bread.
we are, we're looking to the left, which means that we see France right now. And we can actually see the coast right there. That right there is the coast of France. So that's France right there. We're going to come up to England really soon. Kind of above the clouds. We're going to see something, I hope. looks like Ladies and gentlemen, we are 
descent into the Detroit area. I should have you on the ground there in 35 minutes. A little bit of rain showers in the area. Might be a couple light bumps. We didn't turn on the seatbelt sign. in Detroit shortly. All customers must clear immigration and customs. If you're connecting to another flight, you must recheck your luggage to your final destination outside the customs hall. If you're making a connection, please check the monitors for connecting gate information once you've cleared security and then proceed directly to your departure gate. Once again, we should be landing shortly. Yes, we were descending fast. It was time to prepare for landing. We had some very strong winds, so that made the landing pretty rough. We actually kind of bounced on the ground. But in the end of the day, any landing is a good landing. We didn't die, and everything was fine. That was a rough landing. It's windy. We now officially arrived in the United States of America. It's our pleasure to welcome you to Detroit. Local time here is 4.47. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until the aircraft is parked at the gate and the captain has turned the seatbelt sign off. Everything is carpet. Very interesting. Here we are, the United States of America. Wait a second, stay. Come here, you. You look familiar. There you go. All right, we are officially in um, Detroit right now, as you can see. And here we got our famous cars, of course. And we're gonna pack our old stuff, put all the stuff in the car. Ah, finally, the United States of America. The place where you will be reminded all the time in which country you are by American flags placed everywhere around you. Literally, everywhere. After a long flight and drive to my girlfriend's place, we obviously had to stop to pick up some Taco Bell. That's an exhausting day. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. It was a very exhausting day. Of course, the first thing we had to do was get some Taco Bell to get some fuel in our body again because we've been almost up for 24 hours right now. We, uh, we had almost no sleep the previous night. I'm right now in my girlfriend's room. I'm sleepy. All the cats are happy to see us again. We've seen ghosts. Hello. So yeah, um, what we're gonna do now is get a shower and tomorrow is just gonna be a lazy day. Not too much crazy stuff. Just sleep just sleep we need some sleep right now so that's gonna be it for today I've already seen enough American things today so <laughs> I need some sleep I need to like restart my PC because your brain is actually some kind of a PC I just have one thing to say what why is your wrench bigger than mine oh yeah that was funny when we just came out of the plane uh we saw these two construction workers they were working on an escalator we walked past them it was like a movie scene, scene. they said to each other or this one guy said to the other construction worker now how come your wrench is way bigger than mine that's something you usually only hear in like a comedy movie or something like that but this is just real when you come to the united states it's like a movie it's a good movie at least anyways um see you tomorrow we're gonna sleep Our first adventure, so exciting. For a simple European like me, this is awesome, but locals would just call it grocery shopping. Yep, we are going to get some resources. As you can tell, 
our brains were definitely not fully rested yet. I once again just went the wrong way. Are you serious? I'm going the whole opposite way. Why? <laughs> I just love driving and looking at everything around me. The cars, the buildings, the street lights, the roads. It's all different. Obviously, I had to snap a picture really quick of this classic Crown Vic. This is, this is big. Look at this compared to me. This is huge. They're so big. This whole store is huge. Okay, we are doing some shopping at Sam's Club to get some steaks for tomorrow on the grill, right? So that's where we are right now, Sam's Club, United States. This store is extremely big. This is just crazy. They have so much stuff here. Oh my God, this is crazy. Reminds me a little bit of a um, German store that I go now and then, but it's really big. There is so much variety in here. Look, <laughs> these, these aisles are huge. So much stuff to see here. So many meats, so many cakes, so many bread, so many drinks, so many everything. Everything is bigger in America. It's true. Heavy meat. Huh. American meat. <laughs> nice to meet you. Always me with my stupid jokes. Oh, it's so hot today. Ugh. Nice. Oh. Oh. There you go. All the way in the back. Oh. Nice. Okay, so now we are going to Meyer. Meyer, let's go. So now we are in Meyer, a huge grocery store, getting a bunch of stuff. It's nice and cool in here. So much cheese. Look at that. Taco Bell. European and British. Let's see. Hmm. <gasps> Digestives. Okay. Where? <gasps> no way. Strope waffles. That's cool. Typical Dutch stuff right here. Warm it up on your cup. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so this is funny. This looks like the regular Fanta, the color of it, but that's because it's pineapple. And this one is actually the normal one, the one that we know in Europe, but here the color is actually way different, like orange, it's very strange. But the, the, the taste is exactly the same. So, <laughs> that's weird, it actually, ow! Well, <sighs> that never happened. Um, anyways, <laughs> looks normal, is different, looks different, is normal. Fanta. We don't have that anymore in Europe. Plastic straws, everything is paper. Of course there is an American flag on it. Give me that. Team USA, whoa! What? Jesus, that's huge. Team USA Coke. Yeah, I, got the wrong oh, I love shopping in America. It's so different. The aisles are so huge and there's so much variety and there's things that I know and there are so many things that I don't know or things that are similar. There's so much to try out. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's my lucky day. Found a penny. Well, that was a very interesting groceries adventure. After dropping off the groceries, it was time to eat something. And of course, I have to try one of these famous Chick-fil-A restaurants. Okay, so we are at Chick-fil-A, and these are my Chick-fil-A nuggets. They're really small. They smell really good. And obviously we're first gonna eat, um, Right, the famous Chick-fil-A sauce. Very famous. No Chick-fil-A sauce? Huh? It's really weird. <laughs> it doesn't look appetizing. But let's see if the flavor will change your mind. It smells strange. That's the smallest bite I've ever seen anyone take in my life. I don't know what I'm tasting. <laughs> you have to try one of the fries too. The fries are really popular too. These are the weirdest fries I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> They're good though. You like it? Mm. I think you'll like this sauce a lot. What is it? 
It's called Polynesian, but it's like sweet and sour. Mmm, interesting. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Strange. I think you'll like that too. That's a spicy one. Really spicy. <laughs> it's spicy. Also interesting. This barbecue sauce? Yep. Good. Good. So what do you think about Chick-fil-A? Oh. Good. Good? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Mmm. Milkshake. Mmm. Coke. America. Drinking a cold milkshake from Chick-fil-A on a hot summer day in the United States of America. Mmm. Ah. This is nice. <laughs> it's really hot today and yesterday there was rain. So the humidity is very high. We're not doing too much today, we're just chilling. We went to the stores, got some stuff, and um, then we went to Chick-fil-A, try the famous Chick-fil-A sauce for the first time. We're gonna blow up two little pools, and I don't mean blow up, but just blow up. Gonna place them here, just gonna lay in the water for a little bit. But I would say this is a pretty successful day. I'm not complaining. This is nice. Oh yeah. <coughs> what is that thing? What is this? Go away. No. What is? There's poop on my hammock. Don't get me wrong. I love nature. Look at these fireflies. You see that? Wow. What do you mean it's potatoes? What did you throw in there? What is this? Are you serious? What is this? Where does this stuff come from? They're called instant mashed potatoes. Instant mashed potatoes? What? What? Did it come from a can? It's powder? You put it in water. It's powder and you put it in water? Mm -hmm. What? What does it smell like? Ugh. It doesn't smell like potatoes. What is that? Butter? You're gonna like them. Yeah? I'm very confident. Instant mashed potato. Eat the whole bite. Eat. <laughs> They're just mashed potatoes. With garlic in it as well. You love garlic. I've eaten potatoes. There, you love potatoes. I promise you, you just have to like. You have to be more open-minded. I know it's different. Garlic and potatoes is actually very common. Yeah, I found out that instant mashed potatoes are not really my thing. And on that note, this is going to be the end of part one. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And stay tuned for part two, because there is a lot more to come. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.